Welcome back to another video where nothing goes as planned and I'm not mad about it. Today we're looking over the photos that I made about a month ago. After some snow, I went down to the lake. It was some fresh, beautiful snow. The sun was glowing. I had some expired film and for some reason I thought, you know what? These beautiful photos are the perfect day to use some expired film when I have no nothing could possibly go right. And nothing possibly could have gone worse because these photos all came out with a horrific blue cast except for two of them. Only two of these photos came back from the lab with a proper white balance, but I didn't let that stop me from trying to edit these photos. So I'll show you what I eventually got. So this first photo, I, I really tried to edit these photos. I, I reselected the white balance, which got me a lot of the way there because they were really blue, but the sky still ended up very blue. I couldn't get rid of this magenta cast over the highlights and the shadows are crushed. So this first photo, not great. Also just not a great composition. And now on my way to enter the woods and visit grandma or whatever it is you do in the woods, I thought this was an interesting composition with just the, the trail of snow leading to the trees. There are some tracks in the snow which are, I'm fairly certain were deer tracks. So it was a very interesting photo. So continuing along and in the woods I found this interesting light and I focused on it and I thought man this, this is going to be really cool. It's actually, you can't quite see it in the photo, but there's a log here that was covered in snow. And I thought that was really cool. Unfortunately, it, it blends in. I couldn't get enough separation of the log from the background. Um, and I wasn't willing to go off the path at this point to make that photo. This photo here actually turned out pretty close to Portra's original tones. It's just slightly, slightly off balance. So I can, um, it's just slightly crooked, I mean, I mean to say. So I can, I can fix that a little bit but it's still, it's still a little bright, it's still a little washed out, and the sky is a really weird, there's a streak just going through the sky, so it's a really interesting image, but probably one of the better ones from this roll because it actually almost turned out properly when I adjusted the white balance. This next image is one of the two that came back from the lab properly white balanced. I'm not blaming the lab at all when I say this because I know that these images were probably horrible <laughs> to do anything with um but yeah this one i i honestly don't even need to adjust the white balance if i want to do anything i'll increase the contrast a little bit and maybe dehaze a little bit um, but that's probably just because it's expired this is what i expected all of my photos to look like i don't know if i underexposed them or what happened but they did not all turn out like this <laughs> this next photo it's probably my favorite from the roll, and I cannot seem to get it how I like it. I have the temperature 100%. Um, when I when I adjust the tint, if I go to negative 60 like I had on the other photo, I find it a little more pleasing, but I kind of like it closer to like negative 56. It just, yeah, I just can't make this photo look good. I'm so sad because this was this is my favorite from the roll. I think I was wide open at 3.5 for this one. And still the before photo is completely washed with blue. This photo here um, is an interesting one. It's a it's a nice large negative, so I could probably pull some detail from it if I really wanted to and um, crop in a little bit, but I don't really like cropping my film photos. Um, it's an interesting composition. I wish that I wasn't using an 80 mil lens um in six by six 80 mil is closer to like 44 i believe um in 35 millimeter so 44 mil lens was a little wide for this image but for most of the images in this forest i feel like it was a good focal length and this one again uh just i have my tint at negative 70 because anything less uh, just completely doesn't doesn't look good and i i feel like with this image i want to bring the exposure down a little bit but when i do that it doesn't look good and i feel like i want to bring the contrast up but when i do that it doesn't look good maybe once i get these negatives back i can scan them with my camera or 
just take a picture of them with my camera and be able to get something uh, more usable. I'm not really sure. I'll just have to wait and see. So after I had stumbled through the forest, uh, looking like an idiot with this old camera, wasting expired film on frames that would not turn out, I found a little um, path, not really a path because it was actually off the path, down to this frozen river. And in Oklahoma, a general rule of thumb is don't ever go out on a frozen lake or river because it's not going to be deep enough. You want like, I think, I think the rule of thumb is like seven or eight inches thick ice before you even step out on it. This ice was probably half an inch maybe an inch deep and it was completely covered in snow so the river was frozen who knows how deep it was the ice wasn't thick enough and i like an idiot walked out with my camera with my phone with my wallet with everything and just stepped out onto the frozen lake but in my defense i was sweeping away the snow so i could keep track of where the dirt was i don't think i ever actually stepped on ice it probably would have made for a more interesting video if I had fallen in. So this is an excellent photo of my uh, finger covering the lens. I don't even, I don't even know. I think I was shooting directly into the sun. So honestly, my finger may have saved this image because it probably wasn't going to turn out anyway. <laughs> this is one of the last photos on this roll. I was, I was walking. This, so basically this trail is a mountain bike trail. And there's this little path that somebody on a mountain bike had taken before me. Uh, holding my camera in one hand and trying to get up this little incline was quite difficult while it was covered in snow. Fortunately, I have waterproof hiking boots, so I made it up. Otherwise, obviously, I'd still be stuck there and I wouldn't be making this video. And my final frame from this roll is interesting to say the least. It is. It is interesting it's a little line the mountain bike trail um, actually had melted at this point and so it's just leading off and I still walked further up this trail after this I think I just had my point-and-shoot camera I don't think I've gotten those photos back yet I'm not sure but um... oh wait 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 I got more photos oh, I'm so excited I just realized the lab uploaded a bunch of more photos. Whoa, okay. Yeah, they uploaded one, two, three, four. they uploaded five rolls. I only thought they'd uploaded two. Dude, I'm so excited about these images. Oh my goodness. Sorry, anyway, distracted. Oh man, I missed focus on the self portrait. How could I let this happen? Dude, that would have been so cool. Oh, all these photos will turn out so well. Okay, anyway, sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting distracted. I went to the same path in the same lake on a much colder, much earlier day when there wasn't any snow. It was actually about a week before I made this video. Anyway, that'll be for a different time. I eventually decided that after wasting enough frames um, and enough of, of my time, I would just leave the lake and I ended up driving back home. But, you know, I learned a valuable lesson and it's that if I'm ever going to shoot expired film, again then i'm gonna also bring along a roll that's not expired so i make sure that i actually get some decent photos because honestly that photo of the rock i was super excited for the lighting just really it really hits for me and unfortunately i don't think i was able to get the exposure right because looking at a roll of of portrait that i shot at the same location there are so many greens that I'm missing out on. There's so many greens like in the trees and in the grass. Oh, I'm disappointed, dude. I'm disappointed. Well, anyways, um, thanks for watching me, <laughs> watching me ramble about these photos. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, I'm editing this video and just wanted to remind you to subscribe because I've got like, you don't even know how many photos the lab just uploaded to me today so i literally have so many videos i can make for you right now so you don't want to miss it so drop a like while you're at it um check out my print store because i've got some photos for sale that are cool anyway i'll see you in the next one Hope you guys enjoyed these photos 
and yeah, that's all.